Hello you lot, another video. The other day I decided to buy one of these, I know they're a cheap eBay job, um, on the forums and on the groups. And through experience I understand that these can fail. And given that I've only got one of these left because the secondary key that I got with the car had already broken, I thought, you know what, I'll take it out put a new one in. I prefer the actual full key as opposed to this and then I can keep this ready for if I need it with the ignition. Um, so I ordered the system, it turned up, I thought you know what, I fit it today. It shouldn't be too bad of a job. And yes, looks like it's failed. So yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can fix it without being able to undo it. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is try and do the screwdriver check up through there. Um, because I don't really want to um, have to come through the bottom and take all the panels off. But if I need to, I will do. Anyway, let's try and get on. Right, I've managed to get the grill out. Um, I've got to this part, but it doesn't actually matter if I put mole grips on it, twist it, turn it, nothing. So it's looking like I'm going to have to try and undo the actual mechanism from this side, which I think is going to be impossible. I've tried to put the car up on my ramps, but it's too low. So let's see how we get on. Well, you join me a few hours later, and as you can see, I've got this far, the bonnet is now open. Um, what I ended up doing was actually putting a screwdriver in there and hammering the end with my hand to lock it, and then turning the key, lifting the bonnet, and the latch worked. Um, let me just get the key. Let's put the key in the lock. As you can see, the second mechanism's working. No, it's now not. So it may actually be the piece in the back of there. Uh, so what I'm going to do, undo these two bolts located on the back. Um, there is a connector plug there, but again I'm going to give it all a clean, it's terrible. Right, let's go and get my spanner and get those two bolts out. Right, that's both bolts out, and this should unclip. Yeah, it's not very clever, is it? I don't even think. Are those the wires? I have no idea. That. Certainly not just happened. Anyway, let's give this a clean. This should, in theory, come out the other side. But I may have to release some tags. Let's have a look. So, once you've unbolted the actual mechanism, um, I'm going to ignore the wiring for the time being. Uh, there's a piece on here that you have to remove from the inside and the new part clips into there like so but I'm going to 
I believe it must go yeah so that part goes down the bottom where that is and then you've got these two equal side tags that go there like so and then this piece you bolt back over going in there which I'll do off camera okay one left to tighten up as I say that's pushed through like so I'll give all this a clean in a minute and that replaces the um, rubbery cable thing that fought of it I may actually get some um, yeah, latches put on here cut holes in the bonnet and do it that way um, yeah so now let's test it with a screwdriver so imagine that's the bonnet latch that goes down that's locked and then this piece you turn to the left to undo the first bit to the right to retract that part how cool is that right I feel fairly confident now in putting it back in but I think what was happening with this was the inner part of there was moving just through wear and tear but it actually looks like Somebody's been in here before, which doesn't surprise me. It's 14 years old. I probably could have secured it by just putting two screws through the end of there and restricting its lateral movement, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's put the rest of the mechanism back on. Um, but I'm going to give this area a quick wipe down before I do so. Right, I think what I'm going to do is before I put the grill back in the car I'm going to test the way the lock turns as I think yeah so the first stage is that way and the second stage is that way so the lock basically needs to go in like that to match up with the diagram. I temporarily put the grill in because I've got to get some new um, plastic retaining clips but this bit actually I'll put the front in there first and as you can see there's like a ball mechanism like that and that literally slots in get that lined up like so so upon closer inspection the barrel lock will only go in one way um, what I'd actually done wrong so you can avoid it is set up that one so this rod connects vertically and then I had to undo this again rotate this so this sat on there horizontally like that I should <laughs> in theory be able to clip it like that and as I say when I put the panels back in I should be able to put the key in like so turn it to the left and turn it to the right so again to test it before I shut the bonnet first click second click that's locked then rotate to the left the first latch comes undone, rotate to the right, 
and you reach a screwdriver down by the intercooler. Yeah. So I'm dead pleased with that. As I say, it was only a um, £15 eBay part. Uh, these videos that say it takes 10 minutes, maybe it does, but it's taken about four hours to do on my car. It fought me on everything. Anyway, I'm going to have to order some more panel clips. Um, I'm going to put the top panel down and hopefully shut the bonnet and be able to open it again. Right, moment of truth. Let's take the bonnet stay, put that there. Um, and like I said, I'm going to order some more clips. And right, so that's locked, that's all the way. Come along, want to open my bonnet. I get my new key, sir, which is rather solid. Now that should, yep, and then. Once I turn it to the left, I can open a bonnet. Yay! Right. Let's put the bonnet stay in its hole. It's right, hard to do whilst holding my phone. Now I can check my um, fluid, screen wash, stuff like that, and have a proper key. And not be worried about breaking the little key that you use for the ignition. But what an absolute ball ache. Anyway, I hope in watching this, um, you may have learned something. You may not have done. I've learned that this badge is screwed in from the back, so I'm going to get another one. And I've learned that that is stuck on. So yeah, I've got. Oh, yeah meaty one on the back of the hand but I beat it I won that was the whole point probably saved myself a lot of money and labor and yeah I'm glad you watched now I can carry on doing some more jobs anyway thanks for watching drop a like or leave a comment and hopefully next week I'll be fixing something else yay